Hollywood reporter Michael Yo and forensic criminologist Dr. Laura Petler unraveling the death of Tupac Shakur and Biggie Small. So when it comes to Tupac, no autopsy has been released. I'll say it again. There is no autopsy for us to look at. My team tried to obtain it. We couldn't. To me, I got to say, it's sort of strange that he died six days after gunshot wounds. Usually, if he's shot, you stop the bleeding. Right. And then that's it. In his case, for what I'm being told indirectly is he bled, but later. And I know he was trying to leave the hospital, so the whole thing is a bit strange. He was sedated. He was in a sedated coma to yeah. keep him calm. So that's Tupac. But Biggie's case is a little different.